I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will apply some techniques learned to solve the question. Question here is find the equation of tangent line to the circle x square plus y square equals to 9 with y intercept at 5. So I have a diagram here for you that is the circle which is x square plus y square equals to 3 square so that is 3 the radius and we have a line here there could be two as you could see with y intercept of 5 one I could draw with negative slope also do you see that but I've drawn one here for you we need to find equation of this tangent line you can pause the video answer the question and then uh, look into my suggestion now when we say equation of tangent line so it is line so let us say that this line is represented by y equals to mx plus b now we are given y intercept is 5 so we are given b equals to 5 and therefore the line will be y equals to mx plus 5 now since the line is tangent to the given circle so they have a point common do you see that point so at this point both y values should be same so what I can do is I can substitute this in my equation for the circle so I get x square plus instead of that y I'm writing mx plus 5 whole square right equals to 9 you get the idea so I replaced that y with the y in my equation of line now we need to expand simplify so let's expand we have x square plus this is m square x square plus 2ab that means 10mx plus 5 square is 25 equals to 9 so as far as the x square is concerned uh, we can actually write uh, 1 plus m here right 1 plus m square as a common factor for x square coefficient right plus we have 10 mx and we can take away 9 from 25 right so we have plus if you take away 9 from 25 then you get 16 equals to 0 right? so so this is the equation which you get now from this equation you have to find m right so so that is your question which in itself is a big question how do you find m from this equation now we know one more condition and that is that this quadratic equation should have only one solution since it is tangent right so there's only one solution that means uh, b square minus 4ac as you learn could be equal to 0 now, that helps to solve this equation where b is 10 m a is 1 plus m square and c is 16 for us correct so we can use this to solve the particular equation so we'll use that so b square is 10 m so we'll write 10 m square minus 4 times a is 1 plus m square and c is 16 that should be equal to 0 perfect so that is how you actually solve this particular equation now you can actually uh, open the brackets and then solve it or you could actually factor and then solve either way you can because this is difference of squares right difference of squares you could factor and then solve and find the value of m correct so you can actually pause the video find the solution from here onwards and then get your answer right so let us continue so we have this equation as let's we can just expand here and then solve for it so we have 10 let me write down 10 times 10 is 100 so we have 100 m square minus uh, let's use the calculator 16 times 4 is 64 okay let me write down so 16 times 4 is 64 we have 64 here and then we have minus 64 m square equals to 0 right so that becomes the equation 100 minus 64 you can do that right so let's do 100 minus 64 which is 36 so let's do it on this side now we have 36 m square minus 64 equals to 
0 and so we get m square equals to 64 over 36 which is 2 times I mean okay let's do so we have 64 divided by 36 equals to 16 over 9 let's say 16 over 9 and then m will be equals to plus minus square root of 16 over 9 which is plus minus square root of 4 over 3 right so you get two possible values of m as expected right you can see here that from this y intercept we could have a line on this direction also is it okay so there are two possible solutions and that gives us the result that equation could be y equals to either 4 over 3x uh, plus b I mean b is 5 for us or I should say and right minus 4 over 3x plus 5 so there are two possible lines and that is how you do it so it's kind of very critical at this stage to understand that the tangent is crossing only at one point and since we have only one solution for a system with quadratic kind of thing right and uh, linear b square minus 4 is should be equal to 0 so once you apply that technique it becomes simpler to solve otherwise you can get stuck at this stage I hope that helps thank you and all the best